Welcome to the Darkest Timeline Live. Live, Live. with Jim Rash. Special guest Jim Rash is here. I don't need to yell so much. I know. God, they're they're they're. they're they, I'm just excited. We're not in an arena. <laughs> like a it's like a big mosh pit in front of you. Special <laughs> guest Jim <laughs> Rash. Echo, echo, echo. You just say echo. You don't even say what you're saying. <laughs> this is. And this I just want to point McHale. out that we're dressed like either like a band, we're mimes, or we're yeah. stage managing tonight. No, I am stage managing tonight. I don't know what you guys are. Oh, doing. you are. Mm hmm Oh, we What's had. Play? Well, we had you as a as a special guest, but as a special guest, you can stage manage if you'd like. I would prefer yeah. that you not, but you know, I want to. Okay. <laughs> You know where it's set. Yep. Wow. Well, that's, called, that's called a prop table. <laughs> that that's what it's called. <laughs> mm -hmm. You had one prop basically. Mm -hmm. you had one glass. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you know, uh, welcome to the Darkest Timeline podcast. Yes. Live show. Live. Uh, Maybe Jim should say live. Maybe because Darkest Timeline. Live. <laughs> that's. That's Seems kind like of not taking can, can I get another one? Can yeah. I get another one real yeah. quick? Darkest timeline. Shit. Podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's my fault. I'll do it again. Darkest timeline. Go ahead. Live! Oh, I don't know. I ruined it. I ruined no. it. I, ruined no. it. I, I jumped. All right. Let's go. Do get started. Okay. Five, we are answering all of the questions. Four, Thank you guys for coming three, on the 4th of July. Two, two. Go okay. ahead, Ken. Okay. One. All right. Nicole. What? Wait, no, Nicole's no. Why, who's Nicole? Nicole is asking questions. We are answering your questions right now because all the and for those of you watching this for the first time, we never answer questions on our regular podcast. Me and Joel, we have ADD and we ramble on too much. And I literally do print out dozens of questions every episode, and I never get around to it. So I always feel bad about that. Hence the darkest timeline live. And now we wanted Jim Rash because I wanted mm -hmm. questions that were maybe outside of Jeff and Chang. So I really think that Please. I really right. <laughs> A collective, please. <laughs> really? I don't yeah, know. I really felt like we've exhausted oh, oh. part of it. Like you know, I felt like oh, you know. I, I, Did you like so Annie much... more or Britta, Joel? <laughs> Are you addressing Jeff or Joel? Because they're different answers, my friend. Oh, fair enough. Oh well, okay. Nicole is right now. You're is not asking, asking the question. Okay, no, I'm not. Looking at the shirts. Okay, all of us are wearing. Black Jim just used his prop. Okay, Jim just used his prop. Nicole mm, is asking, whose shirt is the tightest right now out of all three of us? It's, well, if it's we know it's not reach. Ken. Right. <laughs> yeah, because he does it. He's trying to cover something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I get that. I, I I'm always gonna, dress as if I'm hiding something. I'm going to say it's Joel's. Oh, no, I'm going to say it's Jim. No, I think it's I mean, Jim. Look at, look at the <laughs> bunch up here, Jim. Wait, what did you, you kind of huffed and puffed. It's kind of scratched up. Jim went to Baby Gap this morning <laughs> online, of course. And he... Oh, I went to Baby Gap online. Yeah, and, he, and we, got he drove to a Baby Gap and then bought it on his phone. And then put a quick All Saints thing on it. Is that what oh. that is? All Saints? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. The show's sponsored by the North Face. Oh, my unofficially, mother. they gave me a T-shirt. Yeah, uh, North Face has been giving us uh, been giving us merch. We can give you merch, Jim, if you want, or okay, are great. you really, or you unless you're into your hat? All Saints and you don't want the North Face, it's no, up to you. That's okay. 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 Is that really the the He's logo for All Saints? It. it looks like a it looks like someone just doing it is. A, a Nixon sign. No, it's like a <laughs> no, it's. <laughs> Nixon sign. He's wearing. Oh my God. I love. Shirt. <laughs> I love my Nixon sign T-shirt. <laughs> no, that what an updated reference you're making. Yes. <laughs> that's his V for Vendetta shirt. Dude, Again, that's, very that's timely. That's hey, there was a collective topical from the mosh pit <laughs> just now. <laughs> topical. <laughs> Things that start with V. I noticed Jim Nixon's Jim, victory Jim. sign. We've had Jim on the podcast several times. Maybe a record. You might be on the podcast more than anybody else. Yeah. Twice. <laughs> no, I think. Well, we've only had twenty episodes, so we only had twenty episodes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and three of them were re were clip shows. But oh, good. That's but true. I noticed whenever Jim does it, whenever Jim's hitting on a like standing on a punchline, you you do like 
you pucker your lips and it just makes me laugh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I just feel like that's like, is that or you, or, yeah, one of say? those two. I just feel like that's just a device. What? That's my tip. Like here, here comes a zinger. Here comes a joke. Yeah, I do. I think it's like, <laughs> you don't zing. <laughs> uh, All right. So we answered yeah, that you question. Just, you go into Sprocket's face when that <laughs> happens? Oh, that's a better, that's oh, a another. Slight, Topical. Topical. Hey, that's, it's, it's 25 years after the Nixon reference. Well, true. We're moving our way closer. Yeah. And I already said Beaver Vendetta. Oh, great. If the, fans, like if the fans behave, maybe Jim can do some of his stand-up in his stand-up voice. Maybe. 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 If the fans behave. We or should, now, that, we're, it's happening again, Ken, question. where we're not asking okay. questions. We, got, we did the okay. t-shirt We did one. All right, before right. we get to the questions. <laughs> Jim, People are literally paying Where's money that for them to answer questions. Then go, <laughs> ask one. Okay, all right. And then Mason, just... Mason VIP says, can you talk about your thoughts on the Dean Jeff ship? Great question. Mm. Yep. We, oh, Jim and I, I have like rented that. a cruise ship. And uh, <laughs> we feel Jeff like ship. it's going to be a huge hit in yeah. September. Yeah, when, when, and, the, when the ship uh, start, when the cruise is back running, the... Yeah. Dean Jeff ship. It's going to be yeah. great. It's like the Impractical <laughs> Jokers or like Kid Rock. They rent a ship out and you can just, you get, we perform every it's like day. a buffet and there's a pile of costumes. It's pretty much <laughs> everything you could want. Uh, a lot of, imp- lot of uh, freeze tag, a lot of shows. A lot of I, improv? Would be no. a lot of it. Like, you want to get in on man, it, Ken? One man improv? I'd love to get it. I would love to get in on it. I mean, uh, just we're, but, we're all booked. <laughs> anyway, uh, the so Dean sorry, Jeff ship, I guess we're saying our friendship. Yeah. It's just, yeah, the Gene Jeff ship. I think millennials use that. Oh, like, it's kind of like Jeff and Annie shippers, you know, Jeff Ritta shippers. Yeah, no, so I think we know, like, I think people know. Okay, no, I'm just, at, I'm just answering. Canada. I'm just, I'm just moderating, just answering. Yeah. Just, you know. I don't know. But you don't need. <laughs> so people who are in relationships, it ends with the word ship in relationship. Right. And then they say Friendship, that's relationship. the ship part, not, not a cruise yeah. ship. Not cruise yeah. ship. So it's not a literal ship. Yeah. That answer is sponsored by Coke Zero. <laughs> but I, but to answer that question, I, I think, I wonder what the, the, I don't know what the first episode that seemed to seal that sort of affection that the Dean had for Jeff. Yeah, how did that start? But I feel, well, I think the one where it sort of hit uh, was when we saw each other off campus and I, I was at the mall and we went and sang karaoke and I yeah, sort of blackmailed you into a day with me. Was that season uh, one? Uh, I think that was season three, actually. Two yeah, or so three. no, that was already happened. We were already. I know, but I think it sort of sealed this sort of like. Uh, I don't know. Can somebody chime in who's watching and tell us yeah. the first time that yeah, Dean yeah, like, please, touched my show? Well, yeah, you guys are our Wikipedia. Please tell, please tell oh, us like, when was the first yes. time. No, I mean, by, by the pool episode, when you were uh, down in your underwear playing pool, I was already snapping inappropriate <laughs> pictures from behind you. So, uh, right. fun, fun fact, that underwear you wore in that episode. In when dance we, Oh, right, the underwear, okay. We sh- when we, you were in this like uh, orange and blue striped underwear, and then uh, seasons later, we were doing that uh, uh, Apocalypse Now documentary spoof, and I was supposed to strip down, and we said, oh, I should have on uh, that same, same underwear. underwear. I didn't, like, that's amazing. Oh, I, did that, not know I, that. I did not know that. And so there's a shot of it just at the ground hitting it, Megan Gantz, and we just threw on that, that underwear. Did, that blew uh, my they mind. saved the underwear. No, no, I actually- <laughs> Had a different- Fun fact, I actually <laughs> already owned that underwear. Oh, <laughs> wow, method. So I method. said, I said, oh, that underwear. I own a pair. Wait, did you buy that underwear? Because you were like. Or did I take it out of costumes from. <laughs> <laughs> and then just. No, it wouldn't have be... fit you. It would have been so tight on you. But just washed it, well, you know, in hot, in hot water. Hot water. Wait, did you have, know. was it a coincidence you had it? Or was mm-hmm. it that you saw the underwear and were like, that's good quality underwear. I'm getting some of that. Uh, it's the first one. Coincidence. I didn't. I didn't go. Oh, look at look at uh, look at Joel's underwear. I'm gonna get me some of that now. Maybe I said that. Maybe. Wait. I feel like you were like 
mocking me. Well, next question. <laughs> well, okay, now you, I feel like you're mocking me and then you absolutely steered right into what I was asking. No, I absolutely saw you that day and said, mm-mm, I'm gonna get me a pair of those. Wait, but we still don't know when the Dean's first- I don't know when that- first, No, but I, I will know. say when I had to lean over that pool table, uh, that was the most vulnerable I've ever been physically in a scene in my life. I could yeah. not. I was like, Did this you, is very embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Did you have a dance belt? One of those great dance, what do they call them? Dance belt? Yes. Dance, underwear. dance, dance belt whatever. for those of you out there. Okay. So the word relationship, if you add belt at the end of it, I'm sorry. And uh, no, I had a dance belt, which I don't know why they're called dance belts. Uh, obviously dancers must be using them at some point, but it's basically a thong that matches your skin tone. So mm -hmm. it looks like you're nude. And um, mine ran, it was a thong. And I leaned over that thing and yep. to this day, I'm just like, what? And you asked for 26 takes, which we got it in one. Well, I, I agree. Uh, well, now, when I went back, I realized I nailed it on the first. And uh, thank you for pointing that out. But I'm a perfectionist, even when I'm in vulnerable positions. So next question. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, did anybody oh. wait? Did anybody chime in on when the first time the dean uh, said anything? Nope. No what? one's listening. Alex. Oh, VIP oh there's a lot more questions. Cheyenne asking which dean outfit was your favorite? Jim Rash. Oh. Uh, Pass. Next question. <laughs> nope. Nope. Let's just have let Jim answer. Uh, I I thought just for being very impressive and it was very a uh, fun episode was when I was the Duala Dean mm, uh, costume. Uh, just the fact that they sewed that together. Uh, it, I thought that was the most ingenious. And then they cut a wig in half, and I just taped taped it half of it onto my head. So I thought that was like one of my favorites sort of just how inventive they had gotten with that that wow. which episode was it where you did so many different costumes that was the first flashback that the the um, paradigm like memories uh what you know what i'm talking about yeah yes. where you went we, yeah. we went to universal and we shot all those like yeah the things that guy flash, the flashback guy episode, episode. The, the flashback yeah like a flashback yeah. episode that was the one that uh, was oh, one of my favorite episodes. Uh, hold really on, that was one of my favorite episodes, Ken. I'm sorry. sorry Go ahead. That. I'll, I'll, I'll wait 20 minutes for you to <laughs> pontificate. Just like, this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's Christopher. Uh, Christopher's I don't know. And well, by I the way, anyone, anyone wants to do a meet and greet with Joel, you're in for a treat because Joel <laughs> does the best meet and greets. He's going to give you, stop talking. he'll give you his history from DNA. Up It'll to be the only day. meet and greet where you will try to get out of it. Yeah, it's uh, a, like it's more of a, more of a Ken Burns biography than uh, <laughs> I can know. <laughs> but um, reminds me but, of that baseball one. Again. That baseball one. The, uh, okay, Al, I, I just want to get to Dean. You know, Cole has a good question. Number twenty-four. <laughs> Please do that. Ask it. Uh, no, what are you? Okay, uh, <laughs> Jim. Which of your costumes would you want to see Jeff and Chang wear? Oh, thank you, Cole. Ooh. Uh, it's a great. I know I made you say that. <laughs> God, what would I like to see you guys wear? Um, one of you should jump into, Ken, why don't, Chang, why don't you jump into my Lady Gaga? Oh, that'd be great. That'd be fun. I love that costume, very yeah. underrated. And then, um, Joel, I think you should just jump into the peanut bar because the peanut bar thing would probably uh, stop about right yes. here. <laughs> yeah. And that, would, that wouldn't take up too much time in the makeup room. So, <laughs> yes, is, that's true. Everyone knows I'm about, I'm, I'm sure I'm seven one, so yeah, uh, yeah, and not a lot fit me. Uh, I'll do that. Day done. Ken, did you have a question? Yeah, you, Chris, do you have a personal question? Uh, yes, I do. From Christopher asking Joel and Jim if your lip sync battle existed in the community universe, how would the dean hold his win over Jeff's head? That was for those of you who haven't seen it. All, it lip sync battle is still online. It's great. Joel versus Jim. It's an amazing episode. But I feel so. like they did. Um, well, I knew that they gave me a list of people when they asked me to do lip sync battle. They gave me a list of people I'd like to battle. And Jim was on that list. And the one thing I thought was, he's the one, I mean, this is just my arrogant. I was like, I can't beat Jim. So I'm going to see if, 
Robert Rodriguez will do it. No, uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a very interesting list, but I was like, and I, I was like, just get Jim because Jim will knock your socks off. And he did. And he was and amazing. He did, and he won. It was amazing. so fun. Uh, uh, but they didn't show, I did a Ma an Imagine Dragons song, and I don't think it's online or anywhere, uh, but the first one, I, they didn't, I don't think it exists anymore. Right, I think it's just one song each on YouTube. I think because so. they don't want, I mean, I wouldn't want to pay. Probably music rights, rights and stuff like that, yeah. Be, yes. It was yes. funny because, now I'm name dropping, Tom Cruise. Uh, the, no, Imagine Dragons, they heard about it, and they were like, we'd love to see it. And so I was texting with their manager, and I'm like, I don't, oh I can't find it. I don't know what to do. I, I can't really? show it to you. And they were like, I, I know you probably don't believe me, but I really did. I worked really hard on it. And uh, that was my great story. But that was really fun. And Jim literally was so good at it that the dance choreographer who did, she was famous dance choreographer. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I don't remember uh, her name. They were she was on a couple of reality shows, like dance. Anyway, she was, was like, so you think you can dance? Is it, was she on those? I no, she shows. was on the fucking Extreme Makeover uh, Home Edition. And so... Oh, that um, good choreography. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Boom. I tell you, the choreography, like... Right Have you seen the them when they're yeah. moving the fake, the, the oh. old picture of the house? Oh, my God. They push it out and they do a little flare. I mean, that takes a while. <laughs> you know what? I stand corrected. I'm so sorry. That takes a little sorry, while. It's like five, yeah. six, seven, eight. <laughs> like, literally like that. And they call it out? Five, five six, <laughs> seven, eight. <laughs> They cut that part out in the edit, but oh, I didn't it, realize that. Yeah, um, but no, but she goes, "We have never to Jim after because he did his Pink song, and he she he she was just like, we have never had anyone on the show who is able to learn a dance so fast." In they were like, yeah, he "Can't I mean Jim basically did the choreography." And she was just like, I've never met anyone like you. And I was just like, I'm oh. fucking dead. Well, that's nice. I, they, they, that, that team was amazing. And yes, they gave me a little extra time because I was obsessed with learning it. Because usually they do it in an hour. I mean, the fact that anybody can get their stuff together, it's pretty amazing. Did you, wait, did you learn the choreography on the day? Or was yeah, it you learned on the day? On the day. Oh, and what? Ken, I if you, you it, like, looks like the vi it looks mm -hmm. like the thriller video. Did that, is yeah. that one online at least? I don't even know if that, that one's not I online. I don't know if that one's online. I think it's the other one where I basically uh, yeah, I don't mauled think you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Which, that one's I could have like ruined that song. I could have really ruined that. I no, I know. I was like, so I didn't good. want you to know. And I was like, and uh, thank God you came over and let me. Um, uh, it was all for the show. It was grind all you. But he, gro he ground on me. To answer that question, I think that uh, I have a feeling if that had happened in the community universe, Jeff and Dean actually would have probably started dating. <laughs> <laughs> what? After I, after what I did on I your would body, just be like, you'd be abs absolutely. All right, I'm in. I'm all in. Yeah. yeah. I don't Jeff. know. Feel Jeff's like episode this. would be entitled Five Cans. I just yeah. love saying Yeah. <laughs> Jeff would have said, let me see where we, uh, uh, you know, let's see where this goes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love the joke. I, don't, I, was, I can't remember which season it was where I just walk in. I'm just walking by her office. Uh, and I'm, I already said this, I think, on the podcast where I walk by her office. And I'm like, Dean, I need you. And you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're like, finally. Finally, like, it's happening. I, 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 can, <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can call him. <laughs> he just, he just went running with it. Mm -hmm. so that, was, uh, that was Freaky Friday. That's when I switched bodies with Oh, you. that's right. Yeah, that, that you wrote. Four. That was and season, four. season four. Mm -hmm. Season yeah. four. Season mm -hmm. four. Um, the best episode. Yeah. It, no, it was a great. I love that episode. We had fun. Oh, yeah. I had a good one here. Okay. Well, let me just start here. Um, Jim, uh, Tim asked Jim. Tim, Jim. Uh -huh. Tim. Favorite Hi, Tim. Dean moments that you came up with and favorite ones written for you. Who wrote that question? Tim. Tim. I, uh, I'm. I'm I'll say the, my favorite written for me are anything from the peanut wrap to walking in five times with those costumes to anything that had to do with the Apocalypse Now sort of documentary. That was just... Because that's, it, that's think, one of my favorite. I've seen that episode so many times. Because you the, drop the orange and they're like, what's this? And you're like... Yes, the, at three. At three there are two moments in there that were two of my favorite just gifts of moments. And these are totally written... Uh, definitely not from my brain was the IMDb thing where I tried <laughs> yeah, to get yes. Annie to look up uh, um, <laughs> uh, Luis Guzan's uh, yeah, IMDb yeah. page, and I just say IMDb. And the other one is in that same episode when Jeff is mocking me in the bald cap, and yeah. I'm just like, stop, yeah. stop. 
<laughs> Save it for the <laughs> Yeah, Damn, I remember me. vividly. Stop. You stop, stricken stop. gold. Yeah, the way the Those... way you twist it, the way you miss the Stop, stop. Stop. That's gold. Save, Save it, it for, for the screen. That's gold. You've struck gold or whatever it was. Yeah. You struck I, gold. I, I, I'm going to say this, and I, 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 I feel horrible if it was in the script. I just, for some reason, don't remember, but I, it was one of my, it, I can't remember it was in there. And I, but I, I think it might have been an unscripted moment was during the Christmas episode where uh, I said, Ugh, Brit is in this. Hmm. Yes. And I don't remember if it's in the script, and so it's complete offensive if the writers put it in there, but I seem to recall just sort of uh, improv that when I'm looking at the program and she dresses the poo, basic Chris, like, you know, that right. brown app. Yeah. I, I got go, a Christmas for me. And, yeah. it's beca- and the reason I... It, I but I feel it, like your char- your, it was built into your character early on that no, you did not like Britta? Yes, or, yes yeah. which is where I was coming from. But I think right. it became part of those things where I just kept saying, ugh, whenever Britta started speaking <laughs> from that moment on. Right, right. Whenever I remember there was an improvised... Which is clearly movie. because she's with Jeff or was right, or had right. been. It's, it's clear why. But uh, I remember, and it didn't make it into the show, for the uh, zombie Halloween episode where you were outside, you were, we were all yes. locked in and you were, and we we're like, Dean, save us. And, and you're like, everybody save yourself. Let's get for Britta, just leave Britta. But everyone, and that was so funny. No, I said, and I, didn't I say at some point, use Britta as a shield? <laughs> yes. <laughs> put Britta in the way. Put Britta in, man, that might have been an outtake, but put Britta in the way. Yes, Britta's a shield. <laughs> <laughs> I loved that so much. Oh, oh speaking, speaking of speaking Freaky of, Friday, thank you. Noah, Ken, thank you. VIP. I know I'm insulting, but thank you for keeping this thing, you know, we're no. actually, thank you. No, no, I want to get to this. Uh, keep, so Noah, so, uh, oh my goodness. Mike asks, Jim, what motivated you to write the season four Freaky Friday episode and how much fun was it to pretend to be Jeff Winger? Uh, well, I, the, the motivation is more like that, the, when they had said, would you like to write an episode during season four? There were, because I think even Dan would talk about this when, when uh, from all the seasons, there would be this box of sort of, re- not rejected, but like storyline ideas. You know, sometimes you just go back and pick it. And one of the things that was still on the board, I think it said, Freaky Friday. And then uh, I latched on to the, that idea. And then there was the thing that was needed to happen in that episode that the writers wanted to do was to break up Troy and Britta. So the, the episode had to be about breaking them up. That's the only thing that had to happen in that episode. And then the Freaky Friday thing just became an, a great way for Troy to be testing his manhood and, and, and Abed to go along with the idea that he was too scared to break up with his friend and uh, switch bodies. And then because that was the emotional story and in their world it really happened it felt fun to use that device as well on the completely fake and just the dean's decision that he also switched bodies i think to to you know to have fun being jeff for a little bit right um and uh yeah it was it was like a no-brainer once once we realized that he wanted to utilize the freaky friday thing for all it's worth you know and it worked great. It, it was fun. Amazing. Doug is I can't asking. can't believe you were doing it and writing it at the same time and rewrites and all that crap. Yeah, that how is – that's a great That's a great follow-up question. I mean, that, that that's just so difficult because out of all the cast members, you've, you've also directed two mm-hmm. episodes in season six, writing episodes. How was it just writing and producing it and then – and acting in it, well, and, I think, and, as well as directing too. You know, like the, the Jesus Web is one of my favorite things ever of, of, of the series, my favorite Dean moment, virtual reality. And, but you, yeah, but that, you and were directing that at the same time. Yeah, the, uh, yeah the I'm not a fan of that episode, but I get it. No, I, I, I knew that whole time we were in that office shooting that you were under your breath saying, this is not my favorite moment. <laughs> Yeah, um, I feel bad about that. No, reading, you you should not Daily Variety. <laughs> like a yeah, it's, he just kept mumbling it, and I go, I get it, I get yeah. it. It's not your and I feel bad moment. every time we get. I was like, we have to move on. I mean, <laughs> we have something. You, you wrote suit monologues in the back. <laughs> just, I, you can see it's an Easter egg. Yeah, it's everywhere. Easter egg on everything. Aha, uh-huh, my- Kim Kardashian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zing, zing. And then I, had, I put it. I had a, a pigeon named Zing. Get a pigeon. Yeah. And then I would zing. set the pigeon free. I'm zing. like, 
you literally were setting up the green screen you know, because you shoot the soup on set of Community. Spoiler yeah. alert. That's very no, true. Look it up. That's that's right? why the that's why the dean's office was that color green, right. so that he could quickly yeah. shoot, quickly soup. shift out, and just start doing the soup. So, and then we yeah. would do that. We would be like the audience and be like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, well, there was a lot. There was the a lot scattered more laughter was like. <laughs> I feel like. Now, and that, I know. I feel like it was. Can you imagine better. the camera turns around? The scattered laughter is just like yes. just the actors in costume like getting ready and like clapping yeah. half hard. Clap, 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 clap. Uh, that episode is that the same episode where Frankie talks about her sexuality and we're not sure. Yes. What? No, uh, that I think was that's Karate Kid. I think that's no. That kid. that was no. It was me coming out as gay. The dean. Yes. Yes. Was was that's being right. asked by the board to. to I love that episode oh my I, God. you so did such i, I know i it go was, from insult yeah. to compliment all the time but you did such a good job and that oh. was such an and you directed that episode too yeah nat my writing uh, nat faxon and i did that one and then the the and the virtual reality virtual reality one from that scene but but to answer that was yeah. a little bit that was difficult but at the same time nat was there so you have someone to fall back on and then right. for the epi the freaky friday i mean that's beth mccarthy um, Miller, oh, right? Oh, so great director, she's, yeah. uh, like, you don't need any, uh, you don't need to worry. So, I mean, yeah. she was so great and she directed that episode. So, it's it, it, such I, a good director. At that part, at that point, I could just be in the episode and sit beside her and go, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I nailed it. After your takes, right? Oh, yeah, that's me talking about me. Now, when we were shooting the other stuff, like you. No, no, and, no, I see. <laughs> and, just... and like Gillian and Danny and. Donald, I was like, oof, oof, ba oof. Oh, more Dean, please. <laughs> yeah, let's run to the to... writer's room. I have some alts. <laughs> Guys, I don't know. I don't know how to get it. I don't know how to get them to get emotional or even understand what's happening. I should be in it to yeah, help them on it. screen. I should be in it. I should be in it. I'll be the right Dean's back. out of town that episode. <laughs> And then while, and much like Superman, he'd be like, he'd just point and then he'd start getting touched up as he's walking on the set. And people are like, <gasps> he's here. Thank oh, God. And then save it again. Yeah. I mean, just the fact that you're, oh, if Jim's on set, then, then all of a sudden we find the truth in the scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like a divining it's, rod. It's called intention. It's called... <laughs> My we favorite to... thing, by the way, for those in the know who've watched the virtual table read that we did um, for Sony, and that was so much fun getting the entire cast together. Jim Rash directed that table read and did such a great job. But every he time, instead happen. of yelling cut, he would always go, freeze. 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 <laughs> yeah, he would just every time. <laughs> it's so much more effective so yelling effective. freeze than freeze. cut. <laughs> And then he would freeze. He well, would the, actually freeze himself. Yeah. At, behind the, yeah he would, well, there, there would freeze situation. himself. Freeze. Yeah. And then we would look over and go, he's frozen. So we're done with that. Done. <laughs> if I'm frozen, that means I'm happy with what we got. Moving on. <laughs> Is that your you do have a lot of directors who go, whenever you're ready. Like they, they won't say action. <laughs> That's true. Because they think it startles. It, it, uh, they'll just go, whenever you're ready. Yeah. Joe Russo really learned that method. <laughs> Joe Russo. <laughs> Joe Russo. Joe Russo. Joe Russo Joe screams out so loud that we, we would be startled. We'd be like, what's going on? Yeah. Why is Joe, Joe screaming? Joe Russo has a sandwich going, action! Yeah. And this action. Sandwich. Action. Yeah. Action subs, which is the name of the sandwich shop. Subs. <laughs> um, sorry. Okay. Oh, right. but Tanya, I feel like this is a great, great question Tanya's from Tanya. Great. What was the most grueling episode for you to film? I think it's for all of us. For me, yeah, for all of yeah. you guys. Yeah, you guys General. launch in there. Well, no, you, no. Ken, I what was your gru most grueling? Because I've answered all these. Use my snorts. And what was your most grueling? Oh, I can answer I, that. I think <laughs> well, all of them. <laughs> Since Joel. Um, well, you struggled most, so much in. Uh, go yeah. Ahead. <laughs> I think the season three of the um, with the film noir Chang episode, where we're we're having we had split we already had like uh split units and i feel like they were shooting episode four and the chang film noir episode was episode three and both units went till like 7 a.m like mm -hmm. day five i just remember that was just 
do you remember and you were in that gym remember the where the the cafeteria was on fire and and we we're all like speaking to our mumbling to ourselves and mel rodriguez who was a security guard and he yes. would come up to the dean go no no seriously this chang you're he's you're secu- he's mentally ill this is not a joke it's just he's ill and then he walks away yes and, and, and monkey gaze monkey ga- yeah <laughs> and we're seeing and, and i just remember doing that scene at like 6 a.m it was all indoors so the viewer was oh, number one. That, that was so er- that was so early in the morning. I didn't remember that. Yeah, that was yeah. and that was I think basically people, an overnight I shoot was, by de facto. Yeah, mm-hmm. I said it before, but the hours were when when people put in re- people put in very long hours uh, when they're shooting movies and television, and there are literally laws saying they have hotel rooms have to be bought for the crew yeah. because there was a real problem in Hollywood where people were falling asleep at the wheel and. Yeah, and it was, and so whenever I, whenever people are like, well, you know, you kind of just do that acting thing, right? And that's when I go. A shout out to the crew. I mean, the actors. It, it, it there's a. I could see yeah. how actors get motivated, but the crew that was always in it, too, yeah. they believed in the product too. And, yeah, and so, they were because there's no real, there's no downtime. They're they're yeah. working while we're working, and we're sitting in a chair, and they're yeah. setting up. So, I mean, I think I think for me, the grueling was, uh, it's partly. We were shooting early into the morning, but it was the fact that it was all screaming, which was conspiracy theory. We were shooting in that study room with, yes. and just screaming. Yeah, crazy. and you know, shooting, and it was a lot of coverage because it was a crazy, like, you know, everyone was coming from every entrance, gunfire. Uh, uh, I would say that was one of the more grueling just for the, for. Yeah, I, the days that always, it was when we were shooting multiple episodes at once where I would start becoming oh, yeah. confused. I'd be like, I, what am I doing here? <laughs> what, what, why did I walk in the room? And then I, and then I'd be like, ah, got it. All right. Uh, the sun's up. Let's go. And uh, yeah. I, yeah. Because conspiracy theory was shot for between shows, wasn't it? Yeah. Basically. Not, no, no, not conspiracy. Theory. Excuse me. Chaos theory. I said conspiracy. I mean, yes. chaos theory. Yes. Sorry. That's yes. You guys were trying to like catch up to what timeline you were doing. Yeah, I, I was so confused, and I remember would, because I had new, I had new kids back then. Uh, that's mm-hmm. when they were really young, and I would get home at like seven in the morning sometimes, and I would be like, I'm having a glass of wine and some sort of meal. Good for you. So tired, and I was like, this is my night. And then I remember Eddie, my he's now fifty, but he would come down and be like, even then he was like, this is a glass of wine at seven in the morning, Dad, and I'd be like, it's fine. Dad, dad's gonna sleep for like at least three and a half hours and then i'll take you to a park where i will fall asleep while pushing you on a swing with a glass of wine at the I'll park be like i was working i was working all right uh, questions all right. go another question speak rohit ask is asking last week ken told us about his favorite moments of his career and uh, joel what are some of yours my favorite moments of my career of i'd say community well, uh, I, the, it always pops. I mean, the, the wing, winger moments. Uh, you're always really nice about saying, oh, moments for everybody else. But what are your favorite That's winger true, moments? true, I am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think um, when I was the Spanish teacher, I just fucking loved it. <laughs> you and, inspired that. Um, yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. Amazing. How, about, and, how about aside from the Spanish teacher? Anything? Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> the virtual... Re- no, um, boy, I, you know, shooting the pilot, I was so excited that I was actually... <laughs> You know, pilot. And uh, so I, doing that speech, I had learned it so well that I'm like, I, that, that was a great, that was an exciting moment because I was like, I am so cool I get to be in this thing. And I was so naive at that point, even though I'd been in a couple pilots that didn't go, I had this weird, I was like, this one's going, this one has to, we, I know it is, it's going to, I swear to God, this is too close. This is That's great. really good. And I knew I was in something good. Um, but I think the, Things that pop, I mean, there's, I don't know. I, like being in that paintball was a dream come true, the first yeah, one. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. all of them, but I was like, I get to play, I get to be you got the Bruce Willis for there. 22 you minutes. To, yeah, you got to be in that. That's an action movie. Yeah. So paintball, the first paintball was an action movie. Yeah. And you, and I mean, that scene with you and Gillian and the paintball, we already talked about the paintball smacking yeah. together. And yeah. it was just all these dreams coming true. Right. So, and I, that's why, I mean, we complain, I mean, people complain about ours, but. It was, I swear to you, I would skip to work because I mean, with all the, yeah. even with all the chaos of what was going on, I still was like, I get to be in this great show. There's little moments and the, the in the um, scene with Abed after, ch- ch- at the end of Chicken Fingers, that's a play on 16 mm-hmm. Candles at the end when we're just eating chicken together. And whenever I see that scene, I just start bawling because I'm like, what a one, it was John Hughes yeah. tribute and it was, 
really cool. And uh, anyway, that's that's what I will say about those things and everything else. Every other moment that I ever had on that show was the greatest moment. Wow. I think I'll stop. I've undermined my own answer. Well, you, you could have just started. With oh, doing doing the Chang speech, doing the speech, <laughs> doing this doing this speech to defend uh, to defend Chang was one but of my to favorite. To vote Chang in the group, right? Against Rich, against the other. Yeah, group. against Rich. That was that, that was, was just one of my. I mean, nice. when Ken kept going, like, let him finish. And <laughs> yeah, I, I think was that's not when let him finish asking. started. No one was telling I think him to stop. But I love, and that just became a nice runner in the series where Britta would just start doing that. Oh, the characters, the show was famous to have all these runners like Beetlejuice or Let Him Finish. Mm -hmm. and there's just all these, I think even in the wedding, even in the incest wedding episode, they're like, let him finish. They just- Even in the really incest nice wedding episode. The incest wedding episode. <laughs> that, and that actually might be another like underrated favorite Chang moment where there was, Chang kind of did a, win a winger speech was trying to convince Garrett and his wife, yes. his first cousin, to get together. But I do remember prepping for it. Oh, this is like a winner speech. That's pro incest. <laughs> it was just very funny. You know, but, it, but the play was such sincerity. <laughs> so good. That uh, was so funny. Mm -hmm. uh, Riot. This is ahead. a question for all of us. Uh, was anyone nervous about the singing portions of the show, or was it as natural as acting? And I'm thinking like the payday rap thinking of any of like maybe the christmas music you episode. tell me if i sound like i'm nervous <laughs> you share <laughs> my voice okay guys. never afraid to sing <laughs> now jim can you no. can you teach us how to do an eight note scale and please use your hands to show what the notes are please. yeah be absolutely okay. wow. follow the scale yep yeah. yep okay C, B, B, E, F, G, A. Jim, those are all the exact same notes. Yeah. No, no, no. You are not a singer, my friend. You could not hear. I feel like the people watching would agree with me. Oh, uh, man. There's no way for them to let us know if they do. <laughs> yeah, there, least, there's no way. Any way, for, have, in the any way for me to see it. So as far as the question, <laughs> am I afraid to sing? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you there, uh, I during the Christmas song, Planet Christmas, mm -hmm. uh, we yeah, are they, Christmas, the, with we the sing? stop motion animation episode? No. Uh, we are Planet Christmas when we sing that one. Okay. We are everywhere and we are ever. We, uh, it was the, we were, uh, we, the Glee episode. Right? Yeah, we went after the Glee. Yeah, uh, it was uh, Taron Killen who fucking yeah, killed it. Yeah, who so just awesome. killed it. So good. Uh, he, uh, no, I, I could not sing and get the choreography down to a point where I was just cursing loudly. And our crew member was like, hey, man, you need to, you, you, you need to calm down. No, you're really, and that's I was very, like, you're I'm you, trying desperately. You're really, that's, that's why we're friends. You're, that's the Korean in you. You're like, you're like, you pass for Korean because you're just so hard on yourself. Oh and gosh, you will I, just, especially will with your fucking, monologues, a lot, because yeah. you have the most lines. I would, I would see you just, just get so mad at yourself. I've just never seen someone like, which, you know, I respect because I, well, I start going down way. this weird rabbit hole where I'm like, this is yeah. your fucking job. It's what you do no. for a living. <laughs> a firefighter doesn't show up to a fire and go like, forgot the hose. And wow. they don't, that's the sort of thing. Well, I, I think go Jim's and, fireman in that, in that one episode did when you did the one man improv, <laughs> the, the oh fireman was always throwing people under oh. the bus, right? I hate it when my dreams go up in smoke. <laughs> my, my dreams go up in smoke. And the way you and drive smoke. a fire truck. This is my the fire truck. Celebrity pharmacology episode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just this, I just oh remember God. Donald could not, he started laughing. Ooh. So he did that. He did basically what you when you lost it in the pregnancy scene where Donald couldn't stop laughing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that oh, was really? So was he breaking fun. that much? Um, it was so well, you know. Obviously, when they just turn the camera on Jim and be like, "Can you do a one-man improv?" and that would be like, <laughs> it would be asking, which is, like, which accidentally is even... running into a serial killer and being there like, "Mind uh, taking that guy out?" and be like, "Oh no, God!" <laughs> <laughs> And uh, and he just it was the one of, it was one of the funniest improvising I've ever so I've ever seen. And, and 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 speak and on that note, Eric VIP said, Jim, what's your favorite Chang moment? And did Ken ever make you break? But I I'm more interested in thinking like you know you can answer those questions, but also what made Jim any do you remember anything that made you break the most on the show? Made me break? Yeah. Um, 
from yeah. you either from me or in the in the show in general because i well cause I we, mean, don't, we, we don't see you break that you know you're not i you mean break but you it's don't always break. it was always a treasure to watch you try to get through that uh what was the thing trying to sing, <laughs> sing to your funny. baby that uh, or your baby shirley's the baby and then, you so go, and then you enter the scene, ni hao. Ni hao. And I kept saying it wrong. And then you go, he now. He <laughs> now. And my voice was shot because we had just screamed in conspiracy, conspiracy theory conspiracy. on Friday night. And then this was Monday morning. And so I had to, I had to redo that scene, whole scene. I mean, I only say a couple things, but I had to re-ADR uh, right. all those lines. Uh, I'm trying and to you remember. were also eating that sh that that. Oh, uh, what is it called? It's actually yeah. You scoop it up in your. I forget what it's called. Yeah, it's like a. Uh, is it a uh, pancake batter? No, it was the actual thing. It's like it a, was. It's a, uh, I don't know what the dish is called. Um, it's corn. I mean, it's got like a sort of like a grits. Huh. Uh, but you ate so much. A of lot it. of it. Yeah. Uh, take after take, uh, and then later I would find out I'm celiac, which I was probably killing myself with. It. Oh, really? But anyway, <laughs> just kidding. I don't know if it has. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it reminded me of when I was I moved in with Abed, and we were eating cereal. Uh, we had to eat cereal throughout the whole thing. Yeah. And he and I both, I th I think it was Alphabet, uh, and we both realized at one point we looked at each other, and I was like, "Are you? Do you feel like you have a fever?" <laughs> and he's like, yes. And we both went flushed red because we had eaten so much cereal oh my God. that it must have been some sort of reaction to sugar or something. Because I remember going like, I, I, I'm i dizzy and I'm flushed. And it, I think it was early. It's probably from the asbestos that was leaking on the ceiling. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim, I didn't even let you answer your question. I yeah, know, I think that, I mean, I don't remember... I would remember that. I mean, God, it in felt general, like what what would what made you break them? Any scenes in general that made you break the most? I do remember there was a flashback paintball scene oh. that you ever shot the night where, where you were like a flapper in the twenties or something. Yes, like, Danny yeah. and I could not stop laughing. Yeah, but I forget what it was like a flash. It was a, yeah, it was like a scene that never happened. We were yeah, at it was a, like another there flashback was, episode. There was, a, there was a paintball episode where it was more forties like gangster yeah. themed or something. Yeah, we were shot in black and white. I don't remember what it was. And it, you go, you just enjoy your prize. And then, and then, so you, so you wouldn't get the camera to laugh. You actually had the purse, and you would just hide, yes, just hide yes, your face. Behind that's it. right. It made me laugh so much. And I'll tell you, there was another early, very early one that was such a funny monologue, and it was very early in the run, and it's one of the early Dean scenes because I think it was my only my second episode, and I really wanted Troy to be to join the football team, and it was something <laughs> that was. I had some thing where I was like, oh, oh, I forget what the line was, but I kept going, Troy, you're, oh my God, Troy, Troy Barn. I, I don't know what it was, <laughs> but I kept I go back laughing because it's so <laughs> like the Dean pretending like a spontaneous yeah. whole yeah. speech <laughs> about, you know, the team and creating a new mascot. I, I forget what it was, but I remember <laughs> that I, and it's so gross when you break yourself, but let's be honest, you know. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, by the way, Lisa, Lisa, season one, episode six, football, feminism, and use. Oh. That's the first time the dean touches Jeff's hair. So there you go. Oh, there you go. That Thanks. was the same. That's the same one. I came in and I spoke that's to everybody. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Wow. Derek VIP. Jim, who's at the gym harder? You or Joel? I'm just going to speed through these questions here. Joel. Well, why would you speed through them? No, I'm sorry. We can talk about your delts all you want. Sorry, I just want to try to. I just want to. I mean, or that's your, just or your part lats, of a very or your tries, much, much whatever one syllable world. muscle you have. I they, they didn't ask you that, uh, Ken. No, no, they did. no, they, they no, they didn't. Derek hmm. VIP, you didn't include me in that question. <laughs> Derek, I'll see you in. VIP. I'm going to eat my well, feelings tonight while you're on. Uh, oh, get some of that marathon. cereal. Get some of that fever cereal. I'm going to get some of that alphabets. That alphabets. I had, that was enough fiber for a decade. Yeah, of course, yeah, me, yeah. me being me, I'm like, this is a lot of carbohydrates. But just to satisfy Derek, and thank you, Derek, for watching, who's hit the gym harder, you or Joel? Oh, it's Joel. Yeah, okay. thank you. Well, I mean, naturally, it works better uh, for me, if you know what I mean, Jim. Gross. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no, when Jim, look, Jim, when Jim started doing two training sessions a day, then I couldn't. I couldn't keep oh, up. Oh, really? You do true? You do two a yeah, day? I do two a days. Well, <laughs> that was that was when I was I was entertaining the idea of playing football. <laughs> 
Really? I didn't know. Whoa, this is a first. Live I went, virtual I went, yeah. yeah, I went through a big period where I was being heavily, heavily pursued by- Really? What team? Oh, oh. Multiple, Multiple the, teams probably. The, oh, the one in- What's your favorite NFL team that you kept talking about oh, and said all the time? Oh, the uh, Carolina Panthers wanted me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Your home oh, state. Oh, my yeah. home state really wanted me. What, and, what position? And what position you, were you playing? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what I absolutely, I hung up the phone because I picked up the phone and they go, hi, right. we're from Seattle C. And I was like, clang, like Joel's clang. Oh, no, Joel's like, town. Wait, what was the sound again? Clang. Wow. Now, were you hanging up a, like a solid steel phone? Yeah. Yep. Well, that's part a, of your weight regimen, right? That was part of my weight regimen. Phones. Yeah. And when, so when Seattle Seahawks called Whoa. me, I was, I was like, literally, my mind was like, next. <laughs> right. I mean, then, I get it. Carolina you Panthers be didn't on a work champion. out, and then you decided not to go into the NFL? Yeah, so, what, I, so I was doing You wanted two to be on a team that was not great. So that's why you were like, Panthers mm -hmm. all the way. I did two a days and they were like, Jim, you're too fast. You catch too easily. <laughs> what are you, a superhero? And you don't you don't take that kind of criticism well as an athlete or No, an actor. I do not. No. No, I when don't. people say you're too good on set, you actually get enraged. I get enraged. I say it's not you, fun you, to watch. You say I am moderate at best. <laughs> it's not fun to watch. I Damn. hate it when Jim gets compliments and then he freaks out. He freaks out with compliments. Don't you <laughs> ever <laughs> You better believe. <laughs> Damn. Okay, that is an in joke from season six, the finale. Season six. It oh, was in where? the script. It was in the script. It just didn't make it. To... Oh, it was in the script. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Okay. Mm -hmm. The last thing I was supposed to say is you better believe. And I think they said Jim is chewing these words. Cut it. <laughs> they said no. I think they just said freeze. Freeze. <laughs> freeze. Freeze. Stop chewing the words. <laughs> freeze. Like, you're Got freezing it. your lips. <laughs> So you chang tongue that. <laughs> you, better, you better believe. You better, better we believe. Know, we said um, that for the rest. So the what's rest another question? Because I feel like okay. I hogged it with that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sarah VIP. Uh, Joel, what's your favorite Shut Up Leonard? Oh, geez. That, I don't know. I, that's hard for me. That, so they're, many good ones. They're, they, that, I don't know. what they, I, That was like a shot of whiskey every time I shot, saw those jokes. Because yeah. moment. Has anyone ever done a smash cut, a smash like of all of those? Oh, we should. Someone That'd should be fun to see it. A little mashup. The rest of peace, Richard Ehrman. I mean, yes. So good. Amazing. Amazing. So he much. is a wonder. Uh, he was a wonderful guy, and beautiful uh, guy. he was. He lived till he was ninety-three, and, and then you forget the crazy hours we were pulling, and he was like mid-eighties, you yeah. know, and uh, and you're like. Uh, it's okay uh, here just sit mm -hmm. in this chair for the next you know few hours and we'll get to you around you know around maybe four or five in the morning but don't yeah. worry about it 85 year old man and yeah he's, and he never complained and no. gillian said he was roommates with marlon brando is that right he was roommates with him he had like story i mean gillian was so smart because she would plant herself right next to him and just yeah. get every story that she if you could, if you, you want a fun after this show you guys go on imdb and uh Please, yeah. Uh, no, and look yeah. up Richard Erdman, and you you won't believe how young he started. I mean, he was yeah. so young and worked just out of the gate, worked constantly. And every once in a while, I'll just have the TV on, like like a murder she wrote rerun will come on. Right. There's Richard. Or like a gun smoke will come on. I mean, it's, wow. it's bananas how much so he good. worked. And I, I love the one where I was like, shut up, Leonard. No one cares what you think. And he's like, you're talking about it. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <"That's good." laughs> you're talking about it. You're talking about it. That was like the chips or something or the pizza. Uh, yeah. Because he has that little, the, the tag Let's, with him. The Let's chip, right? Well, remember he was making a pizza in the, uh, in the oh, tag or something. Yes. Yeah. He would do he YouTube reviewed food it. reviews. Yeah. Yes. Of like frozen food pizzas. Food reviews. Yes. Of frozen pizzas. And, and was it like have... Leonard approved or something yeah, like that? Yeah. Something. Something like eight songs. Or he did uh, yeah. Let's yeah. Chips. Let's Chips. Oh, another great Leonard moment. Not shut up, Leonard, but in the um, Ken Burns documentary episode where he goes, Leonard approves this post or something. It was like a Facebook. It was like, and it just. For those, yeah. yeah, for those of you watching, uh, oh, every television show never shows any brand names unless they've been paid. And they're all terrified yeah. to talk right. about brands for some reason. Right. I don't know right. why. So then instead of it either. being Lay's chips, it'll say let's across it, which is way more distracting. 
something yes. though. Because nobody knows what let's is. And they'll be like, what's and, that? And it doesn't make any sense. We always talk about it. So let us eat them? Is that what let's <laughs> That's a means? much better catchphrase. Right. Than... Like, let us eat them. And, and tr- then, like, Donald or Troy gives the, because he loved the catchphrase they had. Like, oh, don't, yeah. get your hands off my lets. <laughs> it was something. Like, get yes, your, that's right. yes, get your right. hands off my lets. I forget what it was. I just <laughs> love that Dan Harmon steered into those things. So oh, yeah, yeah. Something Latin, but like that. They were there. I, I brought them over to that sleepover. When yeah. I came over to the, yeah, they were always present. Anyway. Speeding on Sean VIP. Joel, what job do you think Jeff was working outside of Greendale to get that apartment upgrade from season two to season four? Mm. Mm. Uh, I'm just going to say like, I don't know, helicopter pilot. No, uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to, boy, I don't know. Whenever people ask me stuff like this, I, I'm always want to, I, I don't know. I think, uh, I know we did. Uh, I did don't we? know. Uh, I, construction? No, I don't. I no. I those where I can't. I'm not as good at thinking of something. Britta's like. parents, her Britta's wealthy parents, parents gave you Gardner. loans or something. I don't know. Her yeah. wealthy parents, maybe. Uh, that's a good out. question. I don't think that was answered. How I got such a nice apartment? No, I think we just walked in. I mean, then they. I feel like I killed someone and assumed their identity and robbed them and then just let us. Show got in, didn't Jeff Winger's show get into syndication? <laughs> You mean hard drive and wingman? Yes, hard indeed. drive and wingman. Oh my god! Kind of I wish. That is my. That's the fantasy <laughs> that I said on the, yes. um, the read through. That's get, where I think. Get Keith yeah, David would, and make yeah. that happen. Yeah. I would yeah. love that there. There was a real show where he. I'm decided, telling you. Yeah, that's we, right. You you directed that episode. You saw that edit. Okay, yeah. so hard drive and wingman. So was that like was that Dan's idea to do the Clapton song like that? Just I don't know, remember. Nowhere. I just remember like you guys. Didn't you guys? You froze. Right. Your yes. Own in that thing yeah. and then no oh, i don't know because when we we edited it as before that and then they added all those graphics maybe that was dan that was so i think it was dan at the post and it was dan so obviously doing a play on for some reason i don't know when it started i would say mid to late 70s and fell off in the maybe late 80s where television shows would end episodes like that yeah yeah where they end. would just be like uh, frozen yeah. and then credits would roll it best, was yeah. yep best bit Na- Naked Gun. Yes. Uh, that The TV yeah. show, if you watch Police Squad, which only did like 13 episodes. I which think six, inspired yeah. Six, handful. maybe less. They ended with the, everything froze and they would have either like their, a monkey came on once and just started playing around with the set and throwing stuff. They had one where they were frozen. He was pouring coffee and the guy was clearly burning his hand. And he <laughs> yes, just, oh my God, good memory. <laughs> And it, <laughs> I, I wish I could remember. There are, Everyone like watch Police Squad. That is so underrated. I mean, that's like yes. first That was very plane. early. That was Airplane. I don't know which one came first, but yeah. yeah but I think that came after Airplane and it was, it, was, it was before the Police Squad movies. Those six episodes, man, yeah. as a yeah. kid. We should so, do like a speed round. Like ask yeah. as many and we'll see how fast. Yeah, exactly. Can. Okay. Um, and how many, ta- how many times did you have to film the scene with Annie's boobs hitting you in the head. That's from Cole. That was, oh yes, great question. That was from the flashback episode, mm-hmm. end of season two. Um, yeah, when Annie's boobs is, uh, the crystal, the monkey was hitting me on the head. That was, I think that was an, I think that was just a, a thought from Joe Russo. I think he was directing that episode and he just had crystal hitting in the back of the head and literally just took one take because you could hear Joe Russo laughing so hard in the back and he just wouldn't even, it, Joe, and I say this with all love because he's a dear friend of all three of ours. Joe was just too lazy to even not laugh, you know, like just he didn't care. He couldn't stop laughing. And I was like, well, we got it. We just got it. And it was just and that was just a, a Joe Russo note. He just would come up with these things that, at mm-hmm. the very end that wasn't scripted. And that was I mean, and that's been memefied many times. So Eric is asking if you got to play another community character, who would that be? Great question. <gasps> Oh my God! I think I know who yeah, mine would be. Would who? Be from, well, it would be from if it's from Jeff's perspective. Yeah. I, it would be what's his name from Lost, who was in. Uh, oh yes. The, oh, so from, from a different Monica. show, so not in that character within our show. Well, oh, well, he he guest starred I'm, on the second paintball, second season paintball. Oh, I'm uh, Josh Holloway. Oh wait, and jo- he but was you're my, saying, but the question is, it play a different oh, what character would, in, oh. in Community or play a different show on television? No, uh, another Community character. Another oh, community another Community, community character. character. Maybe let's say main cast. Let's say main cast or recurring or mm-hmm. notable recurring. Whatever we want. 
Um, I guess I'd play Betty White. <laughs> uh, she's she's who amazing. Who would be good to be? I mean, it's greatest. hard because because I think I it's not about playing them because it was they brought it such to life. It's like right, you know, it's like uh, you know, yeah. What, what could I be, Donald Troy? No, you know, it's right. like I, I just his mind and like stuff that that Donald made up. Uh, like I'll tell you, I, I'll tell you this. I would be, I would be Abed, Annie, or Troy in that scene where they chloroform. Uh, oh, God. that scene drives perfect. me crazy. Perfect physical comedy. This perfect, perfect structural structural bit. It's and amazing. So I guess I'd say, can I just be in that scene as one of those people doing yes. that insane idea? Yeah. That, yeah. yeah, that's great. Um, I'm I'm right there with you. That that scene is, I mean, when Troy when he trips. What did it say? My brain. Uh, oh yeah, oh, God. the whole thing. And they all woke up. Oh my God, we all been chloroformed. They all been chloroformed. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, why do you have that rag? Why do you have that rag? And then she does it again. And I think there was I I just saw a, an outtake reel where I think um it was either Jeff or somebody. Like Annie was getting mad at Abed or was going at, or got mad at Troy. And then she had no, she was watching the main scene at the third act and she had a chloroform, right? She got mad and was going to chloroform like oh. Winger or somebody. It was just an outtake. But I, I, love not, I mean, the fact that she had, she was just, and Allison One of, had the another scene that I on. wish I was in, which I wasn't, was the yeah. eight bit scene where Shirley murders everybody. <laughs> Yes, That's a in the great eight-bit episode. computers, where she's just yes. like killing everybody, and then she's like, "What are you oh. doing? <laughs> Why Such. are you doing that?" Such a good episode. I, I, you know, in terms of character, just to answer the question, I would like to play. I like Garrett. I like Garrett's character. Just to play that, he just was, and then it, it, he was just. I just like I love Eric Charles Nielsen so much, and he's he just, so funny. Just the crisis alert. Every time he would just add so oh my God. much. So Just much comedy in his performance. Everything about the insanity of him having what was the creature in the sci-fi movie, and he had like oh, Uba had Duba hold, Duba. Uba yeah, and he Duba had Duba. to hold the the, 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 the tennis the, ball. Yeah, the tennis ball. Just the insanity the of that episode and watching how they shot it. It's it's really fun. And then to go and back then and, and then Garrett it. becomes a celebrity. So at the screening, even in the dark, he's wearing like Wayfair yes. shades. Yes. Just like little things like that. Yes, because right? everyone loves that character. Yeah. <laughs> Ooba, dooba, dooba. Steve, was, Steve Gutenberg is like more Steve of that. Gutenberg. Oh my God. Gutenberg. That's the Ham Girl episode. Yes. That yeah. was really. Oh, Ham Girl. Yeah. Ham Girl. All right. So um, Cheyenne's asking. Cheyenne, a super fan. Thank you for coming. You, Do you guys plan on doing any more of these live events? I'm loving them. Thank you so much. Um, like Joel and I, we want to keep doing them as, as our schedule allows. I mean, one of the reasons why I think we were both busy the following next, next few weeks. And so we kind of just did this short notice and wanted to just, we had so much fun doing this, answering your questions yeah. and talking to this will be so, my last. <laughs> well, we were not, but I was just about to say, I would love to have more chance. Okay. Oh no, I'll come back. I, okay. I just, oh, that's it. That's all I was. Time. I was emotionally preparing myself well, if I was preemptive. not going to be invited back. I was that like, that was you know a what? preemptive. I, I'm done with this. <laughs> Jeez. Unless you want me. <laughs> I will, what if we? I promise will never come back until the next time you ask. Knives. Me. <laughs> huh? What if we what promise more multicolored kitchen knives? <laughs> yeah. We I pay swear. our guests. We pay our guests in knives. I've done too many. I've done too many zooms here in this kitchen, and Joel has picked it apart. Alice and Janie recently said, "Oh, are you at Color Me Mine? Have you not, <laughs> have you not finished your bowls?" That's the best. <laughs> and I was like, "Alice and Janie, how dare you?" Do you actually say the full name, Alice and Janie? Alice and Janie. Alice and Janie. For the story, her, I'm going to name drop Miller. later. How dare yes, you? Yes, <laughs> I do. I do. I always respect everybody, Joel. McKay. Alice and Vanderveld. <laughs> because what if I had just gone Alice and you go Alice and who? Oh, Alison Krabappel. She's my. She's uh, great. She's great. <laughs> she's, teacher from the. She was on Happy yeah. Days, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Anyway, ask. Go. Fair. No. Okay, Farah. Sorry, Jim. Joel, how do you approach Jeff's news arcs in season five? The, this new dark emotional state. Uh oh. Uh, uh I, I look, whenever Dan would go, this is what's going to happen. I would be because people was like, "Where do you think he's going?" I'm like. Ask Dan, because I'm on board for any of it. Because you were no depressed. Matter. You were you were, you're just depressed at season five, the repilot. You were just, even they shot it a little bit darker too. You're, you're just in. 
I, I guess remember you had like a glass of scotch in the morning while they're yeah like, yeah yeah I had a beard apartment. that meant yeah. depression mm-hmm. yeah um boy I just I with, with that sort of yeah, thing how did I just, you approach it yeah that's a great question actually. I don't I just kind of go like what would why is he like why do you feel this way right now and uh and then let the crushing darkness surround me and that's usually how it goes uh no I would I would be like what does Ken think each morning when he looks in the mirror naked and then that's how I felt. Yeah. Ah, that's why I related to it. Damn Steven it. No, uh, is, I don't it was know. Beautiful. It was a beautiful part of it because, I mean, Jeff Winger comes into Greendale kicking and screaming. He wants to get yep. in and out as fast as possible. Mm-hmm. That was his whole thing. And then for this person to, for the first, maybe the first time, really have a connection with people that sort of surprised him that he didn't, that he won't admit. And so it was a perfect sort of like, as Dan would break this down much better, but if you were breaking it down as one long continuous movie, it makes complete sense that the season five is your sort of all is, maybe not all is lost, but it is leading you up to that all is lost moment for Jeff. Yeah. What is, what Jim said, that's, that's what I meant. What Jim said. I think that's the best. No, I mean, because at the last, I mean, I'm stealing Dan probably. I'm sure I've heard him talk about that. All any tears I shed on that last episode of the last season were all like, "Oh, this is all." I was like, "Oh, it's character and myself." It became very out. real for sure. That last yeah. episode became very. Um, I mean, for any TV show, I'm sure that has had a, a, a run, uh, whatever length, you can't yeah. you can't help it. Yeah. You can't help it, yeah. especially if you know that's your last episode. Yeah, there's there's something powerful about knowing it's your last episode. I can't believe you... we have I have that feeling right now for this podcast. <laughs> I can't believe this is the last one. <laughs> Steven this... Steven's asking Jim, did you come up with the famous payday rap? That was my favorite community mm-hmm. moment. If so, how did you think of it? Thank you. No, I wish I it did not come to my brain. That was very much Dan and the writers. Uh, that was uh, I did it exactly as it was on the page, uh, or at least tried to. <laughs> It was a uh, uh, it was a blast and nerve wracking at the same time just because uh, yeah. remember you were because you were working because they wanted so it really hard. one take as well so you're sort of like I mean you know from that angle so. right but you were I remember you were sweating I mean you're in that you're wearing a little mm-hmm. tent it was incredible yeah. it was a tent it doesn't really I mean it was like yeah it's awkward to move in those things and also it's just that pressure it's like to do this very funny bit that's all about losing control and then you know, but, run out yeah, of the room was, and then reset and do it again. It was incredible. I, it's I mean, perfect it's just, Instagram video because I, I, I ripped that from a YouTube page and you can, it's right at 59 seconds, that whole rap. It's just, I'm, it's, I'm yeah. best at a minute. I'm You're best, best at a minute. <laughs> but speaking <laughs> of character arcs, Ken, I mean, you think about what your character went through. That was incredible how you pulled it off. I, and I know I, I know I, everything I sound is always sarcastic and all that, but I really was, it truly, when I, I want to think about it, I'm like, my Lord, his character took just was, it was like climbing Everest all the time. It was so, so and we, 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 Joel and I touched on this last week um, on this, on this virtual show where uh, my, personally as an actor for me, my favorite were, my favorite season were season five and six, because at, at that time I was felt so confident in my character where I could, really feel I could go with the flow and it was it was just so fun just discovering things and not knowing what to expect whereas mm-hmm. I, I would always telegraph things and I felt like season five and six just changed my whole approach to acting so what are you talking about this telegraph thing you did not I mean, telegraph shit. I did I was nervous I mean and I said this before last week Jim where like season one I just worked at Kaiser Permanente 12 14 months prior to wow it, I was such and, and, and all the stuff happened so quickly with the hangover and community. You have that imposter syndrome. And I was just so insecure, so scared the mm-hmm. whole time. And, you know, you know, this Jim, I would always ask you, like, hey, what, what, how would you at some times in, in the series, I had no, I would have no shame. I would just say, hey, how would you approach this scene? I would just ask you, like, and you would help me out so much. And so would, like, Joel and Donald, so, so many people, Gillian. So there was just a huge fear of just, you know, mm-hmm. having so much at such a rapid rate where and so that's what you know i think season five and six i was like oh i'm getting getting the hang of this and you do yeah so much fun yeah and uh okay so uh noah vip asked ken and joel have you thought about writing an animated series together oof what jim what nothing i want to why 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 would you say i want to hear about whether you're going to do it yeah i mean you know i feel like that a so that's not so that's not a vote of confidence. You, so well, now let me hear the pitch. What is it? <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Well, what is what is your animated show? The animated show. 
Well, the, well, not with a look like that. That's intimidating. I so wouldn't necessarily. I don't want to pitch to that energy. Here's what it is. It's like a family. I don't want to pitch to that. That is, I, I'm afraid of it. One of them works in a nuclear power facility, like a okay. nuclear place, and then there's like a like an evil boss, and then there's a bartender. And oh. then, yeah. Uh, what's the name like of that the, town? The, the mom, town? like a Springfield, maybe. Springfield. That's like yeah, just that's a working a good name, and just like okay. a cool haircut. Okay. Okay. I, okay. So what do you, well, well, Jim's interested. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not leaving the room yet. I'm. I'm interested. Are we? Are you gonna buy this? I mean, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I just, I can't, what is? I'm gonna have to go back and recircle my pitch. Right. I. I just. I just. I'm just gonna freeze in the room. I'm not gonna. I'm sell nervous. Anything. So, are you guys gonna do an animated thing? Um. I don't. Yeah. We. <laughs> I'm just. Answer, I'm just segueing back to the question since I. I. Yeah. I. I. I've. I've. <laughs> we haven't I'm thought not, about it. I. I don't. I haven't thought about it. But sure. now. With that, with that stare, it would be an unequivocal no. I, yeah. I don't want to. Oh no, I'm I sorry. Do it with this. All right, fine, Jim. <laughs> we are de- we are in full development. It's We're a show. It's the animated oh, version great. of Descendants. Oh, it's, and, it's uh, like oh my another God. version of Bob's Burgers. It's, uh, it's called it's, Burger Bob's. Maybe. No, it's the Descendants. Burger Bob's. Thoughts on Burger Bob's. I think we've asked you for some consulting production. It's a lot. Like, Burger Bob's. I, I love Burger Bob's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing this. Um, it's live action. Uh, the uh, the way way back and oh yeah, uh, the way way back, the animated version. Yeah, right. And it's, wow, what, it's been so what a gift! It's a <laughs> mixture. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Nat's spearheading that. He's that has such a great Alice. Well, that's fun and because you Janney's can... on board. Oh, oh Al- Alice and Janney. Oh yeah, uh, Alice and Janney. Uh, Steve Carroll. Uh, that's so great because you can have like pool floats come to life, you know, because animation <laughs> will allow you to add all types of stuff there. Right. Well, that's what my only note about the movie. Well, we need talking pool floats with Sam no. Rockwell. <laughs> only <laughs> note. <laughs> only. Right. Uh, all right. All right. Stephanie VIP says, what was your favorite sneaky Easter egg or foreshadowing the cast and, and set did for community? Favorite Easter egg of the show. I can well, tell I, you mine. Yeah, yeah go. go ahead. No, um, go. And, and the the pen episode, the pen episode where uh, Andy's boobs, the monkey, oh, takes yeah. the pen in the first minute. Yep. Brilliant. Genius. Yep. Getting to watch them shoot that and then be able to watch it and just see how subtle you have to be capture it. Uh, I mean, I'm only impressed because they thought of it, but I think Megan Gantz, uh, they, there was a the third Beetlejuice reference. And so <laughs> they added they added in the Halloween episode – which where I was Lady Gaga, that might have been the first one, Zombies, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, they added in the background, if you see it, a person right after that third Beetlejuice reference, someone in Beetlejuice costume walks by in the background. Uh, that was as, good. I remember that seeing that guy getting into makeup and I walked in and I was like, yeah, of course. What, yep. Yes. I Whatever. think she, I think she realized it and they did it on the fly or something, Yeah. Laura is asking, who's the one guest you want to have on the podcast, but probably won't get? Ooh. That's a good, I mean, there's so many guests we would lo- love to have on the and podcast. So many that I want to get Nat Faxon on here. Uh, you could. Is that, it, what, now, please? is there any way, do, do we have a chance? Is there anyone we know that we, who could get to Nat? Anyone at all in this room, no, in this virtual no. room? No, I, I. <laughs> you know, like a publicist or like who? Publicist or a partner or a creative partner? Someone they worked with for decades, maybe? I, I am floored he's still working. Um, <laughs> so I he's guess. But, I mean. Okay. Uh, no, who would you like to have? You, you could guys get anybody, right? We, it's fun. We just kind of, the way we book on the, we, Joel and I literally just text friends and see if they get yeah. on. So we haven't, uh, the, the beauty of doing on, the podcast. Come on, <laughs> So yeah, exactly. So the beauty of doing I'd the podcast, we just, we text friends and, and that kind of selects out the guests because then we, we know if we, if they're a friend then we can have a conversation with them. So to me, we just kind of love kind of the grassroots approach of it. So um, we, we really just want to have our friends on the show and people we know. And that's, that's kind of how we're going to do right uh, now. Oh, you liar, so, Jim. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I'm a- Angela Markle. Oh. Okay. Haley is asking if or you Angela could ask Merkel? any actor to play a professor in an episode, who would they be and what Wait. would they teach? If you could cast any actor to play a professor in an episode, who would they be and what would be the subject that they teach? Either Daniel Day Lewis's character from There Will Be Blood. Oh my God. What or, would he teach? What would he yeah. teach? He would absolutely, but it's got to be something like, um, 
this thing. Um, like no, milk, it should be a parenting milkshake uh, making. Uh, no, like, Was that milkshake? <laughs> oh yeah, milkshake, but like a parenting class. He's like, I abandoned my son. And... Yes, yes. No, he teaches, remember, old school home economics. Uh, like, home econ. Home econ. No one talks about that anymore. Oh my no, God. No, because we were taking home econ and we were learning how to cook one one thing on it on, and also budget. I mean, it was like, you're taking you're in school going, I'm learning budget. I'm learning. What, if, what if we had Samuel L. Jackson play his character from Pulp Fiction and he taught a Bible study class? Yep. Oh, that. Joel, that quote. might be the best community-themed answer you've ever had. That, Joel, mm -hmm. that, that's, that's great. Okay. Uh, Doug is asking, Jim, what happened um, with your- Just uh, what happened? What if it was, uh, what happened? Jim, what happened? Jim, what happened? <laughs> God. Jim. Uh, what was I don't know. Doug. I got this All Saints shirt and just no. all, all we got yeah. to let we got to let Doug finish. Jim, what happened about your Dalmatian fetish from season one? What happened to? Yeah, what happened? To oh it? yeah, that's a good question. I uh, I feel like hmm. uh, there might have been a part where Dan wanted to pull back a little bit oh, because it came out of that because that there there certainly was a lot of stuff in my um, office for a while there. And then there was a reference to the fact that I'm into trains now, which I think was a way to show that I uh, right. I floated everywhere, which I'm does, does sync me. So it does sync up with where I go in the episode where I'm being asked to come out that I say it doesn't define me. So you could sort of stitch When you said it, was, it's just so much more than that. There's so much more than that. It's like a magic... Uh, whatever it was, streamer. I feel so bad on the on these on these questions. We have a whole full page. We'll do a sp speed read. I thought okay. that was the last question. I'm oh, so sorry. Keep going, okay. Emil. V. Speed VIP. round. Uh, yeah, Emil. How do you guys honestly feel about the puppet episode? I liked it. It was just a different wrinkle. It was a different. Ep it was a different kind of episode. It had Jason Alexander. I thought my kids loved it. I'm just you know I'm just saying. So, uh, Sasha, do you remember any scenes that got cut that you were disappointed it didn't make in? Oh, dang, that's a good one. That is a good one. Let's give it a quick I'll beat say, here. I'll say, yeah. What, got, what didn't get cut? It, uh, not it, a lot got cut. Community didn't really cut a lot of delete. They maybe didn't really maybe we didn't overshoot anything. Yeah, uh, we didn't ever. overshoot much. I don't, I don't have any. I can't think of anything. I, I think can't think were, of anything either. At most, there were little moments from something, but not Right, maybe a to, couplet here and there. But yeah, not, not yeah there was hardly anything that got that, removed. That's the thing about community. They really didn't have a lot of deleted scenes, per se. Sydney no. VIP, what's the craziest fan art or interaction you've had? Uh, the well, I, I, the I, there's been so many great fan art, but I, I mean, I have it it's hanging back there, which is after the first three seasons of fan, like drew all the costumes that the dean wore uh, wow. onto a poster, and then right. said, you know, uh, uh, would you like to dance or who who, who wants to dance uh, on there? So I have it hanging back there. So I, I would say wow. that was pretty amazing little. How about you, Ken? Um, I met Jill Biden, Jill Biden once and about nine years ago, and she is a professor at a community college. And she said, see, I work in a community college. And I, my, jaw just, my jaw just dropped. You know, so that was just insane. That was fan art? <laughs> Yeah. And then, it was and, then and then she drew a Chang shirt. No, no. Was, I'm so good. Jill was, Biden well, made what's the, the craziest most... fan art or interaction you've had. Oh. Sorry, I, was, I talked about interaction. So no, that was yes, Jill Biden. Jill Biden, Joe's wife, made me a t-shirt, like a t-shirt collage, different colors, and it was great. Oh. And you better believe. All you right, so better much. believe. I like that. That was well. If, you, if we're doing that, I don't think he was a fan. Okay, one of my favorite, most recently, one of the arts. Somebody made, uh, he's done all of us, I think, out of Rubik's Cubes. Oh, what? Like that? That guy's... I've not seen that. Or yeah, Legos or Rubik's Cubes? Legos. Rubik's. No, no, Rubik's Cubes, yes, yeah, yes. He, like, solved a Rubik's okay. Cube to the colors he wanted, and this huge mosaic got built of our, of our faces. Wow. He shows a video of him building it. Wow. Wow. And I'll tell you this, here's some fan, it's not a fan interaction. Okay, when I hosted the White House Correspondents' Dinner, Oh, that was amazing. You can start clapping at any time, guys. Oh, yeah. Sorry. And uh, thank you. Jeez. Uh, President Obama, at the time, obviously, he made a ref. He was like, your he, in his speech, he was like, your character, Jeff Winger. And I was like, what's happening? Well, what just happened? I mean, obviously, that was That's written for another. He had no time to watch the show. So but it was surreal. Like, wow. Oh, that just happened. It's a thing that happened out loud. I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. Vomit and poop and have a heart attack right. and laugh. So like <laughs> nothing else. To, you can't top that. You can't no. top that. Uh -uh. I can top it. I'm okay. All right. Um, Ashley asked. That was Eric. And, Were there any characters based off people in real life on Community? Abed was one. Uh, Jeff Winger, obviously. 
based on yeah, that. I think Dan, yeah, yeah, based a lot of, of people, most of them from uh, certainly people in and his. And we got, I don't know who Chang is based on, uh, but I will say, and now here comes a compliment, Ken. Ugh. When we, uh, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm when, sorry, when that I just heard, happened. And neither, and neither with Jim. <laughs> no, but when no, I heard I'm listening. Got, no, but when I heard we got Ken. Wake up, wake, wake up. I was dude. like, okay. this is going to be, I was like, oh, holy shit. We got Are Ken Jong on the show. It's going to be, I'm sorry. And so, what I'm was Jim's reaction, the what was Jim's reaction when, when you said, holy shit, we hmm? got Ken Jong on the show? What was that look? I think it was the same look. We got Ken Jong on the show, Jim. <laughs> and then I, I did this and go, Are we sure? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't. <laughs> It looks like you're the teacher in every single 80s music video. <laughs> yeah. No, quite literally, yeah. I do. Yeah. I do. It's like Twisted literally, sister. I'm in, I'm in every, every bad sister. music video. <laughs> like, that, uh, that, yeah. That. We got a right to, uh, to, to party. <laughs> yeah. he's, oh, he's man, the, we're the teacher in trouble. The, the teacher's mad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Lisa has asked, can Jim tell a Jim Jam story? Jim Jam story. What's a Jim oh. Jam story? It's yeah, my, I, uh, when I would take a picture of my uh, oh 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 when you take on Facebook oh my god on social or like media. on Instagram I would like create he my, he, my he will yeah there'll be two Jim rashes that is so good it is so detailed after watch and, this. no no it literally no, is, I, I, they're just a photo and then I just oh, I just write the jam script. is evil Jim jam is evil Jim. supposedly yeah supposedly. Jim and jam. cursing Pretty good yeah so what's your favorite one that you posted you got to check out uh, that's so good. I don't, I don't know. know. Look that up. You have to look oh, it up. It's really funny. This is the inner dialogue, and it's just evil and just cur you All I know is just like Jam is just always cursing at Jim. Yes. No, it was always like, well, he always has a bad, evil plan. Is yeah. she asking me to read one? Is that what the question is? Or the Can you tell a Jim Jam story? Maybe like, oh. what's, your, you know, what's your favorite one, maybe? Or oh, okay. Um, I don't know because I, I, uh, I forget what the. Oh, I, I think I took a picture in. I, one that made me laugh only, me, but I don't, they become too involved. So like, it takes me forever to take the picture and then, <laughs> and, a movie. Then, and then approve which one I, I look decent in. <laughs> and then, and then, and then you have to spend all this time trying to line it up and people always go like, I can see the scene, which is not a big deal. Cause I barely can do it. And, and, then, I, and then you write a lo page long defense of it. Hey, long, look, it's just, <laughs> look guys, there's no app to do this. So, uh, <laughs> so I went on, uh, I was in central park and I wanted to write one about jam uh, saying, hey man, are you, ter it always starts, are you terrified? And then Jim always says, of, he goes, the fact, and basically the plan was that he had learned how to do lion calls or speak to lions. And he was gonna oh call God. them out of the zoo and just watch. And then he just kept going, roar. And and I go, I, and it, basically the, the joke was, I say, you know, they don't have any lions or cats at the zoo, they might have a bear. And then he goes, it's so stupid. The fact that I'm even telling this, but anyway, blah, blah, blah. Well, we answered it, Lisa. We promised to answer it. I did. Questions. I'm sorry. No, that's, it's great. It's question. only what I remember. That's awesome. Okay, really quick, Leah, what episode, uh, ask what's your, what, what, which episode was your favorite to film and why? But we'll, we'll at least say our favorite. Um, favorite for me, to film? Yeah, yeah, for me, first paintball. Uh, because it was a first. That's mine. Uh, I, I think for me, it was the uh, Apocalypse Now documentary. Yeah. Mockumentary. Yeah. How about you, Joel? Yeah, I mean, paintball pops into my brain because uh, because we got to be these action heroes. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I there's so I, it's hard, very it's difficult hard. to it's answer. Hard. There's so many, yeah. uh, there's so many cool things I got to do. I mean, the trampoline episode was just Underrated, so much fun, so and good, then Matt right. Walsh just nailed it, and yeah. that was genius. I Alberto uh, is asking Jim, obviously wrote one episode but joel or ken did you have any premises that made it onto the show um i can say no how about you joel <laughs> yeah i mean like the like the first three seasons were most of my premises yeah they really were a lot remember, of it was based on joel mccann i remember you should say dan get a book a notebook a premise is coming out of me <laughs> take this down and, and what would dan and, and, and jim how would dan react oh, like, oh dan dan was like thank you we're we're <laughs> we're we're strapped for ideas well dan would be taking it down and then jim would walk in and go yeah yeah jim, would jim, jim, I, jim he would go, it. I would look, no <laughs> yeah joel, joel would be like that I can't my, yeah what if i took off my shirt 
I feel that, like I didn't. I mean, how would he say, well, I, I, it wasn't clear on my Zoom. How would he? Do, how would he say that again? Oh, what if I uh, took off my shirt? <laughs> that's not how I sound. That's classic, Joel. You're, that's as bad as. It Ken sounds like. Oh my god! You always sounded like you were in an episode of Welcome Back, Carter. Yeah, you're Vinny Barbaro. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Maybe one more time, Jim, just in case the viewer just didn't know. Hey, what if I took off my shirt? That's great. That's Joseph not... said, uh, Jim and Ken, were there any episodes that you weren't in that you wish you had been in? Oh. That's a great question. Chaos theory. Chaos timeline. theory. Chaos, chaos, chaos. Timeline episode. Yes. Um, I think, yeah, I'm trying to think of Well, that's other... that, that Jim already called it out. That scene with the chloroform. Oh, and that too. I would yeah. Have... That would, I'd I would have, have to, seen. I'd have, I would like watching. Timeline. I'd have to see the timeline. Yeah, chaos. the timeline. timeline the episode. timeline I can watch over and over again. Yeah, because I think, I, I it's, think just, it's probably for my money the best episode. Ever. It's just perfectly structured. Yeah, it perfectly tells you. Yeah, every like the fact that we know. Yeah. That I think it's you. You realize that without Troy, the group is doomed. Like that's mm -hmm. the that's the timeline when everything goes wrong when he leaves the room. Cause like he's the epicenter, like You're right. when he leaves, everything goes crazy. That's the fire That's and, where and whatever. Fire. Yeah, yeah he was just saying like, know. he was this, uh, oh, that was so dangerous. Uh, beautiful. That I was just spinning that blanket around that I had dipped in kerosene. And I was like, <laughs> give me more kerosene. They're like, you shouldn't have it. I was like, give it, I want the flame to be huge. Of course you did. Of course you did. Yeah. Bigger. Bigger, more knives. <laughs> more knives, more. There were, were enough knives in this. More <laughs> knives. <laughs> when I shot, is that your premise? Knives, please. Knives. <laughs> oh, I, I when I was on the Great Indoors. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes. CBS's short run, <laughs> one season. Uh, uh there, my character was like an only needed, only needed one. Only yeah, needed it was one like I always story. say, it was like True Detective. It was all yeah. wrapped up. It was all wrapped up. You series. told all the stories. You told, yeah, told all the stories. A, they were great. Fine. Uh, yeah. but no, they always had these knives and stuff, like all these camping equipment. And they were like, here's one of the knives. They were like, I, they were like, we have a dull one and a sharp one. I was like, just give me the sharp one. I need, I can, that's fine. <laughs> and I reached into my pocket and accidentally popped it open oh, in my pocket during a rehearsal. And I cut the tip of my finger off basically. And I knew it happened. And you know, that moment where I'm like, Damn it. And I closed the knife in my pocket and I looked out of my pocket and blood is just beginning to form through my pocket. And I just kept my hand in my pocket Good <laughs> during Lord. this rehearsal. I'm like, Joel, what are you doing? And I'm like, don't worry about it. And it was just blood and people. Can you imagine that happening on tape me? night and then and then the warm up and, and, like, and director Andy Ackerman are going, well, that's a wrap, guys. No, no, that's it. a wrap. I'm, just, I'm floored that that's all that's happened to you. It is. But I mean, then just I went based to, on your love of knives. I love I know, knives so it's much. It's an unhealthy swords. love of knives. And, but the, it was really cool what the doctor did. She burned a hole through the top of my uh, nail. To stop the blood? No, yeah. to when she put, uh, no, she, it, it, to, when she was sewing it up, she was sewing through my nail. So to keep the nail on and to anchor the stitches, she sewed right through it. Jesus. It was a really great moment just, in my life. I was I'm good. proud. Oh, All right. Wow. God. Wow. Well, we don't have time to unwrap that. So Jim, Robin <laughs> asked, Jim, did the Dean finish his novel? Oh, I, I would love that, that I did. And that's what the movie is. This weird. Oh, that's really cool. This really weird, cool. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously it would take place in the real part of Greendale. And then somehow we go into a Dean Dangerous uh, storyline for the movie jordan yeah. asks is there a show you would wanted to have a crossover with well, we did with cougar town technically oh yeah we did yeah, yeah. is there uh, another show oh hey i uh, it could have been fun to like for some reason like uh um parks and rec had some kind of weird uh, i was thinking that too like they think, wanted they yeah. wanted to start a community college they came to look to see you know, yeah, because that's, and, and that's in my head because I just recently watched the one where they go out on the ice. If you ever saw that episode, no, which one was that? They have to get out on the ice to make an announcement, and uh, the sh the red carpet's not long enough, so it stops, and they and the stage is so they just do this physical bit of them trying that's to get, brilliant. and they keep playing. Uh, uh, what song is it? Um, uh, I forget what song it is, but they keep playing the song, trying to get it, the energy up to get them to, anyway, yeah. anyway, that's, 
for another discussion. No, that's, that's wonderful. Um, Oliver asked Jim, what Greendale class would you want to take? Ladders. Yes. <laughs> Sarah, Ken, do you ever miss Veronica, your charred mannequin leg? Yes. All the time. It's I miss her just, too. That yeah, was one of my we favorite We all miss things. Veronica so much. Uh, she was so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I really love that episode. So That's much. what I was talking about. Your character arc is so incredible. Went from you, a uh, went from a real life wife, Senora Chang, <laughs> to a Monica uh, Charlie Manica. Insane to take yeah. over the school to uh, coming out at the very end of the show. <laughs> it was incredible. So good. Mike is asking Jim as a writer, was there any episode you think, damn, I wish I written that? Oh, all of them. I mean, yeah. again, I go to chaos theory. I, 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 yeah. I wish. I, I, I find that it's just ingenious in so different, many different ways. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Mike Mason, sorry. Jim, as a college student studying screenwriting, do you have any advice? Mm. Uh, well, I mean, these, this is not a novel idea, but it, I, I only say it because I, I realized that I needed to come from a place of writing something I know. And the very first thing I did was sort of taking something that happened to me and then turn it into the way, way back. And so I feel like uh, I, I, it was a good lesson just to think of like um, tapping into your own personal life. It doesn't have to be autobiographical, but there's so many things that you can pull from. So, I mean, I'd start there. I mean, there's way too many things to... I just flashing back to your, you, you gave a great commencement address at your, at your high school and, um, That's right. and it was so good. It was so inspiring. Oh. And I felt like, I think just, uh, That's I, cool. when I, was I'll, that? I'll go back on your, on, on, on not that long ago, show. like four years ago. Maybe. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'll go back and watch that. It was really inspiring and emotional. So, but that was a, a fun that's time. A great, great question, Mason. So Rod VIP asking, is there any cast member that Jim wishes he had more scenes with? No. You know, I, I would have loved a a little more one-on-one -on -one time with Gillian and Britta. I mean, as Britta. Yeah. I just felt like it would have been fun and like even the sixth season just to see these two have a moment together. Yeah. Uh, uh, I had plenty of moments with Britta, you know, it, within the context of the group, but I would have loved to see uh, a little something um, happen uh, uh, as in their relationship. Benjamin, cool. Benjamin VIP, do you um, remember a specific point in production when you realized the show was becoming truly special? I mean, for me, I mean, for me, it was actually the first Halloween episode of season one. Mm -hmm. That was really just uh, blew my mind, directed by Justin Lin. Just really, really good. So that, that yes. just blew my mind. Yeah, that was for me. I, I, would, I would agree with that. I mean, I think any of those episodes where you just – it became bigger than the school, but yet the character stories were the beating heart, which were pretty much any of them. Yeah. But I would say that, and certainly the first paintball, which is always easy, but uh, to pinpoint just because mm -hmm. you're like, this is not just, you know, this show is more than just, you know, yeah. a community college. Yeah. That, I don't, I don't have one moment, but I remember when we were, I think it was the beginning of season three, I mean, obviously, there's many moments before that, but when we were, the song. Uh, we're going to finally be fine. Uh, yeah. I just. Good call. I was just like, good call. Man, I, I'm love that I, I, I was just like, I'm on such a, I, I rarely do this because I'm always, uh, I'm my Catholic guilt and all that on kick in, but I'm like, I would be like, I'm on a great show. I get to be on this great show. And I was so happy. Yeah. You, yeah. We, we were, we were a show that started in our third season. We're making a comment on the note that we got the most and Dan saying, Make please be more real and grounded. And so then we do this musical where we're going to be less <laughs> insane. And uh, only to segue back to answering that thing where we were afraid to sing, we all had to go in and sing those little, everyone had a little part. And, oh, and, right. and Yvette, Nicole, Yvette Nicole Brown has got a gorgeous voice. Yeah, broad. And yeah. But yeah. I, my line comes right after her singing. That's right. So in the music, it is so, even for me and my beautiful voice, right. it was you so Boys, you beautiful it. boys. It's not hard for me to see. <laughs> <laughs> but that that one little line was so high, like I was screaming to make to go. We're gonna I mean, it, I, 
There's no way you understand what I'm saying. It's just me in a dress going, I'm in command, you be my now. I'm gonna seem like a mainstream dream. That's it, that's it, thank you. Uh, but when I was in the booth, I was like, so we can't do anything? And it's like, mm. Nope, gotta do it. Oh, by the way, Joshua has said the dish that Jim ate was called uh, Mieli Pap. It comes from oh. Ghana. Yes. Yes. Oh, Very that cool. is it. Yeah. Thank you, yep. Joshua. Thank and you. Cody. Can you imagine, though, when the network must have seen that first moment of that episode uh, where I fly in like Superman? Literally flying. They're like, what? Up, up. Well, they like, fuck. <laughs> it's just flying where you're supposed to be more grounded. And where they, Dan, where Dan, they, what I remember Dan had said, he was told by the network, you've got to plot out the whole season, arc out the whole season. Okay, Joel's flying. <laughs> Yeah. And also, or they saw it that night and they go, we have to start reading these scripts. <laughs> we have to. I mean, you, you walked in with a suit made of money. That's right. I think <laughs> that's right. Because it was because the hangover two had come out. And then, cause I think Dan had texted me, like, I had like three movies that came out that at like the big blockbusters at that time. And then I think Dan just, we'll just give you a suit made of money. I think that's what it was. Or maybe he just, for, maybe he just decided just to mm -hmm. do money. That's the way I'd like to think. But um, no, I think that was, I, I think it was, wasn't your, what you were saying was like a comment on like, we're going to be appealing to all mankind. Yeah. We're going to make this show so appealing. That's going to make a ton of money. Well, Mm -hmm. I personalized it like an actor's ego would. <laughs> I don't think he did anything. Really? No, I really think that was Dan it. Harmon. Like, that. Really? I didn't know. Yeah. So I, I like how actors take, oh, did you think of me because of this? Yeah. No, I don't know. That I'm is the writing. perfect actor reaction. Be like, <laughs> That's oh, a very actor. Yeah. I've done something <laughs> terrible. Oh, my God, because oh, he has this is Keeper, a Transformers 3, oh. and Hangover 2 out in the same song. Gross. No. Who are you talking to in that, in that little? <laughs> talking, in, talking right <laughs> Is, is Tran standing right there? I'm Have talking to listen? Tran. She's been standing there the whole time. So, wow. So, love, you. love you. Tran. Love you. Thank love you, you Tran. So much. Love you, Tran. Jim and Joel say hello. As hello. As well as everyone at Loop Live. Cody is asking, Joel, do you enjoy dying in all the episodes and movies that you do? You mean like acting? Uh, like, I don't remember you dying in Community, uh, but uh, movies where your character oh, may get killed off. I think that's what I he's have, referring to. Yeah, I need ha, some ha, bad ha. end. Oh, I see. No, I, ha, in the ha, movie ha, I'm in right now, it does not go well. It doesn't no. go well. That well, movie, I mean, yeah. we, don't we all sort of reach a limit with you? <laughs> oh, my Lord. He did it again. <laughs> oh you know what gosh. I'm saying? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I what think, is but, the ma mayor of Hollywood, what do you have to say about this? I think, I think when Joel's in a movie, there's a limit. To how much we need him in it, you know that kind of thing. Yeah, it's sort of like you know, by Act Three, you're like boof, ba boof. Yeah. Well, that's why a lot of my characters, uh, they, they, the directors and writers learned early on that. Um, act it's two. like the whole country is wearing bifocals and going. You, and they call, them. they call, they call you. Uh, they call you like Joel, halfway, halfway point, <laughs> Mikhail. <laughs> halfway point. If it, Joel, Joel halfway point, it's a clunky name, but it works. No, it, it I, works. I, I, this is, I was, yeah, this is for the screenwriter asked me, halfway point. <laughs> I am a kale for halfway point. I learned, I learned the halfway kale. point in a screenplay. I guess I died. Was I in a coffin in, oh, the drug play? All right, well, yes. Mason, there you go, Mason, because yeah. he asked, so just halfway point, Joel McHale. So um, <laughs> Ashley is saying, what is the punchline to the Dean's joke? What would Arnold Schwarzenegger sound like if he was bit by Dracula. I Wait, what? what? Did I say that, or was that in the uh, episode? You must have said it. What was is the punchline to the Dean's joke? What would Arnold Schwarzenegger sound like if he was bit by Dracula? I don't know. I don't I, know. I, well, let's. Or think maybe about she's it. writing what some would, fan fiction. Oh, maybe it's a fan fiction. What, would, what was the joke? What would Arnold Schwarzenegger say? What, what would Arnold Schwarzenegger sound like if he was oh. bit by Dracula? Oh. Yeah, you. What do you think, Joel? No. Oh. Yeah, oh. Joel. Uh, hi, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. What did he get bit by? Dracula? Yeah, Dracula. What, what, yeah, what would he say, Jim? Um, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you take my blood? <laughs> Dude, that is spot, oh my God, closing my eyes? It's like- And I'm it's not even a great punchline. <laughs> what would he sound like? Why, Why would you take my blood? Well, I feel like that's a the wrong question for a vampire. 
Look, when you're in the throes of death, you're, yeah, you're, you're bound to ask anything. It's not. I'm sorry. It's, no, but if you get bit by a vampire, writes you might your be last line before you die. Oh, okay. So he's now turning into one. Necessarily. Oh, yeah. then, then he'd have a funnier line like, "I'm turning and, into a vampire." <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's a good alt. But it, it can you feel, say that again? Because Ashley put a lot of thought into this question. Would you mind just just saying that one more time, just in case she didn't hear it? Look, I'm <laughs> I'm turning oh. into a vampire. <laughs> Ashley, I hope that was satisfying. An Oscar-winning screenwriter Ooh. just completed that joke for you. Gave you some punch-up for free. That's really good. Yeah. On Loop yeah. Live. Final question. Alex, VIP, do your characters have a favorite drink they ordered at Britta's Bar? Oh, what did we order? The six... I know what I ordered. What did you order, Scotch? Dracula's blood. <laughs> Dracula's blood. And what would... <laughs> why am I turning into a vampire? Why, why am I turning into a vampire? Hey... Because you, want, well, because you got bit by no, a vampire, dummy. That's, that's Joe pops in and goes, how about I take off my shirt? That's not what I sound like. That's a very good reenactment. Ken's oh, early winger. I'm not, I'm not going to be stupid and say that was no. winger all the time. No, but no, early was, winger sounded that was, exactly like that. That was winger first through three. Yeah, one through three was very. I mean, look, characters evolve. But what was well, the But I what? don't sound like Vinny Barbarino. Mm-hmm. My God! I if I had closed my eyes, I was like Vinny Bomberino. Did you just get here? Oh, yeah. Uh, what did What did you drink in the end? You drank scotch. Yeah, single malt scotch. And I would always talk about like, and I would describe it. And they also wouldn't. The net or the studio was like, you can't. I wanted to say McAllen, and they were like, you can't say that. Right? Did, what did they then, call it? It was like McDonald's. I'm well, no. I, and then I was <laughs> like, I'm going to say it. <laughs> Basically, I said, I, I'm going to do it. And then I did it. And then they put in the episode. And what was the fallout? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. They were, Why would they care? That's like, that's, yeah. Johnny Walker wasn't like, that's it, NBC. You had You're, a chance. We were you, just about to drop this billion dollar contract. And yeah. you ruined it. <laughs> because you know what everyone wants is advertising from liquor. Uh, <laughs> um, Dean's, Dean's favorite I for, drink. I, I, forget, I forget what I had, but it was... I want to say it was a very cosmopolitan. Sounds stupid, though, but it probably what I was drinking in that last episode. Um, yeah, I don't remember. Did, did they serve real alcohol? But see, real but no, it, that but, night, but the truth is, if the, I have a feeling that if I if I were if the dean were actually going to do it again, I would order the exact same thing that Jeff would have, just like when I wore the okay. same outfit, the uh, right. cowboy outfit. I think that makes more sense. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, that's great. I think. I think Chang like has what I'm having right now. Heineken, Heineken Light. Or, Heineken, Heineken Light. Or so, Ken. Heineken. Or Ken. Or. 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 Heineken Zero Zero. Coke or, Zero. Yeah. Okay. Or Coke Zero. Yep. Because. Yep. yep. You're double fisting that, I'm right? I'm double fisting. Bipolar drinking. That's so smart. Whoa. Guys, Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Can I say the words prop master? Prop. So what if I, that could be, then I just drop the water on the computer and, <gasps> and then freeze. And you freeze right there. Guys, we did it. We answered all the questions oh, awesome. from every single person. I want to thank everybody. Why from, did you take uh, my blood? Nicole, Mason VIP, Eric VIP, Christopher, Nicole, Girl Riot, oh, Alex yes. VIP, Cheyenne, Derek VIP, Sarah VIP, Sean VIP, Rowett, oh, Cheyenne, VIP. Farah, Tim, Stephen, Noah VIP, Mike, Stephanie VIP, ah, Laura, yes. Haley, yeah. Tanya, Doug, Cole, Eric. Cole and Cole twice. And Cole twice. Lisa, Anil, and VIP, Bo. Sasha and VIP, Bo. Sydney VIP, Ashley, Lisa again, Leah, Alberto, Alberto Joseph, Joseph, Robin, Jordan, Robin, Oliver, Sarah, Jordan. Mike, Mason, Rod, VIP, Benjamin VIP, Joshua, Cody, Ashley, Alex VIP. Thank you, everybody, thank for you. tuning on in. On a 4th of July weekend. Yes, thank you. That's thank you for coming so many out. questions. And, and Jim, Jim, any final? Now, I, I know you've been dying to do your stand up, and I, I know you're <laughs> using this to kind of do because yeah. you have that stand up voice that you've been, I want to do. I yeah, so yeah, we'll end on that. Uh, okay, guys, can I get, let's get me like a, you know, uh, an yeah. everyday, an everyday object you have, you know, a, a pencil. pencil. A pencil. A pencil. Oh, my God. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Don't get me started on pencils. Hey, hey, paper called. Stop writing on me. Uh, you know, it's like, it's like, why are pencils yellow? Uh, duh. Show some caution when using me. <laughs> he's broke. He's broken himself. Dude.
that i mean that yeah. right there you got live that wasn't on netflix you didn't have to pay for that no, well you no. actually you had to pay for it but mm -hmm. thank you guys so much for the darkest Thanks, timeline live on behalf on of joe mckayle weekend. and jim rash and ken jong and, and, and most of all thank you for hanging out we're going to do a vip meet and greet all three yeah. of us have people to meet and greet please feel free to sign up even right now and, and we're going to uh, do this again at some point everybody we so we'll do this uh, again at some point we're not sure and jim when, will you come back sometime again jim, will you come back? absolutely not oh well, you let us right down the no, path no. and then you ended it with not no you please bring me, hey bring me back <laughs> guys <laughs> Thank you, guys, Damn, and stick this. around Ken, for the VIP him, and sign up for it. All three of us are available. Thank you. On behalf of Loop Live, OMG VIP, this is Ken Jong on behalf of Jim Rash and Joel McHale signing off. Love you guys. Happy 4th. Stay safe. Wear a Thanks, mask. Jim. Thanks, Ken. Thank Wear you, a guys. fucking mask. Thanks, guys. Love you guys.